Hello again, everybody. Continuing our tutorial, I was asked by a couple of people about computers, power train control module, which is the computer, the brain of the uh, automobile. Again, how do you know what are inputs? How do you know what are outputs? So, as I said before, sometimes you have to use your logic, your knowledge of electronics but in this case we have a schematic that is pretty straightforward we know we have fuel injectors we know we have sensors sensors like i said are always inputs they're giving the present information or data what's going on telling the engine what's going on air temperature and the output would be controlling the fuel the fuel injectors in this case as you see Look at this. <clears throat> a knock sensor. It tells you in. It tells you that the sensor input is in, as I drew by the arrow in. This is an input. The PCM is getting the input or the data, what's going on in the engine. If there's knocking or pinging or anything like that from the knock sensor by a voltage, a signal. So it's an input, and it tells you here input. Other ones, <clears throat> crank position sensor, camshaft position sensor, they're also inputs. Here, as I have noted, sensor in, it tells you it's an input. Over here, which is the other one, also tells you it's an input. So cam input, crank position sensor input. Of course, they need a B plus and a ground. So these are inputs, and you see the B plus coming from, which also goes to this fuse. Therefore, the outputs, as we just mentioned, will be the fuel injectors. How much fuel, how much should you open the fuel injector to allow more fuel or less fuel, depending upon air and oxygen sensors, how much oxygen is in an exhaust. Therefore, it tells you over here, out, that means it's an output. It's controlling something. The, the computer has these inputs from the sensors as inputs, telling it what's going on. It reacts to, to, to the situation by controlling these fuel injectors, which are valves, coils, that open and close to allow more fuel. Now, as you see, they're all tied. One side is all tied to the fuse, the B+. Plus. The other sides, whenever you have a coil, you need a ground. As we specified in other videos, this will give it a, a ground. It will toggle it on and off by giving it a ground. So the PCM will give it a ground. As we see in a fuel pump relay, one side of the fuel pump goes to B+, plus, the other side goes to ground. So the other side of a relay or a coil has to go to ground. This is outputs, and I drew the arrows going out. So therefore, how many cylinders? You could tell by how many fuel injectors. We have six, that means there's six cylinders. If there would be four cylinders, there would only be four injectors. If there would be eight cylinders, there would be eight fuel injectors. So therefore, like we said, fuel Injector 4 is this one, controlling the other side of it, the ground. These grounds are controlled by this. 3, 2, and 1, and 6 and 5 are controlled by the PCM. So these are outputs. So remember, sensors are inputs. As you can see, like we said, the fuel pump also. We have a B-plus over here connecting the fuel pump. Once the B-plus goes into here to activate the relay... Then the switch will be activated in this, in this sequence. It will close the circuit, and current can flow now to the fuel, fuel pump. So I hope this helps alleviate any confusion that there is about inputs and outputs. And I hope that it was informative. So please subscribe to my channel and my other <coughs> videos on automotive schematics by Joseph. And I have another channel of basic electronics wiring diagrams called Joe Electronics. I hope you like that. Thank you.